How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking tomahawk steak, tomahawk ribeye, cowboy steak, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. This thing looks like I could go hunt my next meal with it. And I'm going to show you how I like to cook these. We're going to be reverse searing it on our Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. We're using cooking pellets, hickory blend pellets, because I love the way hickory and beef go together, and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So let's bring you in and show you how I prep this tomahawk steak. Okay guys, you can see we have our tomahawk steak here and all it is is just a thick cut ribeye with the bone in it. And a lot of people will say that they're a waste of money because you're paying for the bone. And I tell those people, once you start paying for my steaks, you can tell me what to buy because I absolutely love these. I think they have a great presentation factor and they're absolutely delicious and look how thick that steak is. So we've got a pretty decent spinalis up here. Marbling could be better. This is just a, you know, a budget friendly, tomahawk steak I got from Sam's Club, but I've had them before and they're absolutely delicious. So how we're gonna prep this is we're just gonna take a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and we're just gonna put a little bit on top as a binder. And this part is completely optional. This is just, I'm a creature of habit and I do this all the time with my steaks. I really like Worcestershire sauce, so we're just gonna roll with that. And then I like to keep these really simple. I like salt, pepper, garlic. Of course, you can make your own, but I prefer Suckle Busters SPG. It's already done for me and it's absolutely delicious. So all we're gonna do is just go ahead and season up this side. And after we have this side seasoned up, we're just gonna go ahead and kinda press it in, hit it with a little bit more, not much. That's looking pretty good to me. Now we're just gonna flip it over. We're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. A Little bit of the Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of SPG. Go ahead and press it in. Hit it with a little bit more SPG. And it's really important here that you get your edges. You can just roll it around on the board if you want to pick up any excess. But you wanna make sure you come and season up your edges. Then we'll just roll it on the board here and pick up some excess. Okay, and now that we have our tomahawk steak seasoned up, we're just gonna let it sit on our board here for about a half hour, 45 minutes at room temperature. Let it come up internally a little while. This just came out of the fridge. You don't wanna put an ice cold steak on a hot cooker. You wanna let it come up to temp a little bit and that way you get a nice even cook all the way around. So we're just gonna let this sit out while we get the cooker fired up. We're gonna be running at 250 for the initial part of the cook, letting this take a nice little smoke bath. And yeah, I'll bring you back when it's time to get around the pit. Okay, so we went ahead and let this tomahawk rest for about a half hour, 45 minutes at room temperature while we got the pit up to temp. Now at this point, I did go ahead and transfer it over to a cooking rack just for easier transport in and out. I did spray the cooking rack with a little bit of cooking spray to prevent the steak to, from sticking to it during the smoking process. At this point, I also like to go ahead and get a probe inserted into the steak because I like to monitor my temps throughout the entirety of the cook. So what you want to do here is just kind of find your your dead center line, which is about right there. And then just mark that with your finger. So I'd say probably about right like that. And then you can just go in here, dead center, and just get that in there. That way you have a probe in there, you're not gonna overcook it. And I like to have mine more medium rare. So I'm gonna set my alarm at 115 degrees and then I'm gonna pull it off. It'll probably rise why I let the grill come up to temp to sear it about five degrees and then we'll go ahead and sear it off we should have a nice medium rare on it so like I said I just like to get this in beforehand and have it ready to go so yeah I'll meet you guys out at the pit okay guys you can see we have the tomahawk steak on the cooker here I have it on the middle rack and with the bone side here facing the fire pot just to protect that steak so this side over here isn't cooking. That bone's gonna offer a little insulation so we don't overcook it. So got that on the middle rack, bone side facing the hot spot. So we're just gonna let this thing go until our high alarm goes off. And you can see I'm running at 250 degrees here. 
and I have my high alarm set at 115 degrees. You can see we're at 48.1 degrees. So yeah, at this point, nothing to do except wait. So I will bring you back when it's time to go ahead and sear this off and finish off this cook. And I'll let you know how long it takes. So we'll see you then. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour and five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check our temp. Our probe just did go off here. So see where we're at about 115, 16 degrees there. So that's looking good. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get the steak in that pan. Just like that. And we're gonna get it covered up with foil. And we're gonna let it rest on the side of the grill over here. And then we're gonna crank up the heat on this cooker to about 400 degrees. And we're gonna sear that steak off by just opening up the flame broiler here. So I'll bring you back when it's up to temp and we're gonna sear it off. Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and sear off the tomahawk. Our grill is up to searing temp. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw that on right there and let it get a nice sear on it. Now we'll go ahead and sear the other side. And now we'll go ahead and sear up our sides. I'm gonna go ahead and get this inside and let it rest and I'll bring you back when it's time to slice into it. Okay guys, and here it is. Here's our massive tomahawk. You can see it's just dripping juice here. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Let's bring you in and let's slice into it. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna cut it dead center and see how the doneness is. Oh yeah, look at that. Hopefully the camera can pick that up, but that is a perfect medium rare. It's juicy through and through. It's wall to wall pink, and that looks absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna get a few more pieces here sliced up, and then we're gonna do the taste test. I'm just gonna go ahead by following this bone down, taking it off the bone. You can go ahead and set that to the side. That's one of my favorite parts. A lot of good meat in there. Then we'll just go ahead and we'll slice this up and it is cutting like butter. That looks absolutely delicious. I really hope the camera can pick up that doneness because that is perfectly cooked, nice and juicy and smells absolutely delicious. Oh yeah. All right, I can't wait any longer. It's time for the taste test. Okay guys, first thing I'm gonna do is cut me off a piece of this here spinalis. And that looks absolutely delicious, nice and juicy, medium rare. Got all that good seasoning around the outside. We'll give it a try. Wow, that is absolutely delicious. You got the salt, you got the pepper, you got the garlic from our SPG rub. You have that awesome hickory smoke from cooking pellets. It's absolutely delicious. It's tender, it's juicy. Again, perfectly cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and have me another piece. Man, that is absolutely delicious. Let's just go over what we did real quick. We went ahead and seasoned up our tomahawk steak with SPG from Suckle Busters. We set our Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 loaded up with cooking pellets, hickory pellets to 250 degrees. We smoked this thing until it hit an internal temperature of 115 degrees. Then we cranked our pellet grill up, popped open the flame broiler and seared it up and got an awesome crust on there. This is absolutely awesome. If you've never reverse seared a steak before, I highly recommend it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.